So I'll finish up by thanking Axe and Baker and other members of the Board of the Congressional Award Foundation for this memorable opportunity. And I will now introduce Abby Meachin of Holiday, Utah, to share her thoughts on the Birmingham Congressional Award Bill. Now, he's from Utah, Utah. 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 It said California right now. I've never heard of the state of Utah, California. So, <laughs> Abby, come on down. I used to think that I was doing things for others because I was somehow better than 
they were somehow less fortunate. This type of attitude fuels service out of pity and not out of compassion, thus detracting from both the quality and mentality of service. I'll share an experience that completely changed the way I now go about giving. During the summer of 2010, my NLC class traveled to Urubamba, Peru, to volunteer in a rural community with the help of the nonprofit Peru's Challenge. We built a middle school and taught classes at the local elementary school. I loved teaching those classes and getting to interact with the community on a personal, emotional level. The Peruvian people we worked with have nothing, but they are among the most cheerful, grateful people I've ever met in my life. To me, it was initially a challenge to give without feeling this sense of personal hierarchy, but toward the end, I felt a deep-seated human connection to the Peruvian people that transcended both language and socioeconomic status. One of the components of this trip was a house visit, where we visited the homes of the students and their families and asked them what things they thought they needed, rather than us telling them what we thought they needed, and we actually I found this method to be extremely respectful towards the recipients of service in a way that both values their pride and preserves their dignity because they are not treated like the underprivileged. It enables thoughtful dialogue versus condoning patronizing diatribe. It becomes a process of enabling from the heart versus simply giving from the pocketbook. As a result of that trip, my life has completely changed. I became more compassionate and loved myself with those who I was empowering, because there is no hierarchy in the world of selflessness, and God does not and will never choose favorites. As I move forward in my life, I want to become a high school English teacher who not only teaches, but also educates, one who supports all aspects of my students' lives and helps them to realize their own immense goodness and worth. And finally, here is my charge to you in this audience. I think what all of us, including me, can do is to challenge ourselves daily by seeking to improve upon what has already been improved upon in our world, our communities, and in ourselves. Do things that challenge your heart, soul, body, and mind. Explore your passions and treasure what makes you excited to get up in the morning. Especially, take time to be grateful for all of the goodness you receive in your life. We find ourselves in a world seemingly plagued by distress, hurt, sorrow, and anger, when in reality we have never seen and known more compassion, love, and a sense of brotherliness. All of you have taken the commitment to live brotherliness because you have sought to understand the core of the human condition in yourself and in others, one that is inherently and simply good. And that is a beautiful, wondrous, I would like to thank the Congressional Award for both the opportunity to speak before you today and for the tireless individuals in this organization who enable you, including me, to find the best in themselves and in their communities. I would like to thank my fabulous mentor, Scott Hansen. I would like to thank the National Leadership Council Class of 2012 and our wonderful leaders, Elizabeth Shelley, Katie Price, and Kevin Waters. And finally, I would like to thank and congratulate this year's recipients Congressional Award Gold Medal for your all spectacular young men and women who will live, go forward and live so much good. Thank you.